This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Herodimos, and uh, we're going to take a look at a cosine curve. We're going to graph it, and this particular cosine curve has two parameters. It has a number in front of the cosine, and that'll help us figure out what the amplitude is. Uh, there's this number here in front of the angle variable. X is our angle. This is going to help us how to help us to calculate the period. All right, what's the amplitude? Well, the amplitude is just the absolute value of this number in front of the cosine. So the absolute value of 2 is 2. How do we calculate period? We take 360 degrees, or 2 pi if you're working with radians. Take 360 divided by this 1 third, whatever number is in front of your angle variable. If you divide this, remember this is equivalent to 360 times 3. Right? If you change, instead of dividing by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. Uh, okay, so multiplying by 3. So 360 times 3 is 1080. You could always use a calculator. You get the 1080 if you divide it even by the fraction. All right, so that's our period. The period is 1080. Very large, long period. All right, this does not have... A phase shift or a vertical shift. I have other videos that will demonstrate that. All right, so uh, let's uh, graph it. Now that we have the characteristics, the two characteristics we need to graph it, we'll graph it. So we're going to go along here and we're going to go to 180, or I'm sorry, 1080. Put that 1080 right there. And uh, again, we're going to break this up from 0 to 1080. We're going to break this up into quartiles. All right, what's half of 1080? Well, half of 1080, I think, is 540. All right, what's half of 540? 250, 270. All right, and we also need to figure out what is the quartile that's between these two. So the way you get that quartile is you add the first quartiles together. And I think that's going to be 8, 10. 8, 10. Okay. So now we have this broken up by quartiles. All right. Now the way you uh, do this is, well, let's put our uh, amplitude on here. So we have to put two notches up, two notches down because it's going to go as high as 2, as low as negative 2. There's no phase shifts, no vertical shifts, or no, we're not going to do anything funky with that. All right, so how do we graph it? Well, we are going to plot some points. Now, cosine always starts at its amplitude. So I know the amplitude is 2. Start right there. At the first quartile, it goes back to the x-axis. At the second quartile, it goes to its minimum third quartile back to the x-axis fourth quartile it goes at its maximum alright how does it look well let's see how my free hand is we're gonna graph it hopefully get a nice little shape here and we'll get that shape not too bad a little curveless here I could have done a little better with the curve but it's uh, we're doing this by hand we expect to have some inaccuracies all right, this is what the cosine curve looks like. Now, remember, the cosine curve is infinite. It goes infinitely to the right, infinitely to the left. This pattern is going to reoccur over and over and over and over again, uh, just drawing one complete period. All right, make sure you go back to mathguide.com. Check out our interactive uh, quizzes, our lessons, activities, and other videos. Take care.